Hello, good morning. Um, this is an impromptu short lecture I made in relation to the report of Roland about our pain patient. So this topic is uh, about ASIA score and spinal injury classification. So to start, ASIA or the American Spinal Injury Association or the ASIA score is an assessment tool we use uh, to measure the neurologic uh, classification of a spinal cord injury patient. So we measure three elements. So first is the muscles, next is the light touch, and the last one is the pinprick discrimination. So this is all about the dermatomes and the myotomes we check uh, in spinal cord injury patients. So this picture is an example of the Asia scoring system. So the right side is about the sensory key points and the left side is about the motor key points that we check. So here in Asia scoring, the, the body is divided into two identical parts, the left and the right. As you can see here, you just follow my cursor. So we have 28 dermatomes to check in Asia scoring. Uh, each is divided into right and the left for light touch and also for pin prick. On the left side, um, we check the key muscles. We only check 10 muscles. So five muscles to assess the brachial plexus or the upper extremity. So C5 to T1 uh, divided into right and left. Also, the lumbosacral plexus uh, from L2 to S1. Grossly, uh, we check for the upper extremity, the elbow flexor. So, ito yung myotome na tinuturo ko sa inyo. So, C5, elbow flexion. C6, wrist extension. C7, elbow extension. C8, wrist and finger flexion. And T1, for finger abduction. Ito yung tinatanong ni, ano, na, ni Dr. Tech last time kung ano yung basis ko. So, ito yun, Asia, Asia scoring. This is a valid assessment tool that we use uh, in assessing neurologic patients. For the lower extremity, L2 for hip flexion, L3 knee extension, L4 ankle dorsiflexion, L5 long toe extension, and S1 for plantar flexion. So, for example, sa case ni Roland, if you puncture the L3 or the L4, L5, since doon naman tayo tumutusok ng spinal, ng spinal natin, di ba? Ng subarachnoid block. So, ano ba yung mga iti-check natin kung tayo yung dahilan kung bakit nagkaroon ng injury yung patient? So, we check yung L4, L5 level. So, iti-check mo kung uh, if your patient can do ankle dorsiflexion and long toe extension kasi yun yung mga nerve roots na probable na nahit mo sa L4 and L5. So, we also check the patient sensation. So, you, uh, you check the L4, L5 level. Saan ba yung L4 and L5? So, dito siya. No? Sa leg, L4, L5. Since the patient is complaining about a pain on the posterior thigh and leg and also on the foot, so ito yung mga levels, mga dermatome levels na dapat napakita mong normal. So, ito lang yung hinahanap ni Dr. Atek last time just to make sure na tama yung ina-assess mo at tama yung diagnosis mo. So, Roland, well, actually, we, we use this Asia scoring for patients who suffering from spinal cord, spinal cord injury. And spinal cord injury is considered an upper motor neuron lesion. We don't do this sa uh, mga lower motor neuron lesion such as yung case mo. Pero, siyempre, dapat alam mo rin to. Basic. Uh, this is for all of our residents, guys. So, next time, uh, if you're going to assess patients, neuropathic patients, uh, we check, para may full assessment, we check the dermatomes and the myotomes uh, using the Asia scoring. So, just to continue, the scoring for sensory is graded 2 for normal and 0 if absent. 
So the total score would be 56 on the other side and 56 on the left side. Okay, for the total of 112 maximum uh, scores, both for pin prick and for light touch. On the other hand, for motor testing, um, this is the muscle strength grading. No? So 0 for total paralysis and 5 for active movement, full range of motion against maximal resistance. So you just have to read this on how to score or how to manually muscle grade. Okay. The next information that we get from Asia scoring is if the patient is suffering from spinal cord uh, for from a complete or an incomplete spinal cord injury. So if the patient has no voluntary contraction, no sensation on S4 S5 dermatome or there is no anal sensation at all, the patient can be classified as a complete spinal cord injury. Otherwise, it is incomplete. So the last thing or the last uh, information that we get in Asia scoring is the grading of impairment. So ito yung importante sa atin. Um, the Asia impairment scale describes a person's functional impairment as a result of their spinal cord injury. So the Asia impairment scale is graded from A to E. A meaning complete as described as there is no motor or sensory function in the lowest sacral segment. So ito na ngayon. No? no motor and sensory function in the lowest sacral segment, so S4, S5. Your S4, S5 coincides with the S, uh, anal sensation, so S4, S5 dermatomion. So kung walang sensation and you check na BRE ka, walang bulbo cavernosus reflex, there is no voluntary anal contraction, then you can say that the patient is suffering from a complete cord injury graded as Asia score a. On the other hand, um, if there is sensory and motor function and it is all normal, so we have a normal patient. So Roland, if your patient is uh, normal, the sensation and motor, so you grade or you, correct, you, you grade the patient as Asia A, uh, Asia E. Okay. You just review this impairment scale in the future if you're going to have a spinal cord injury patient or a neuropathic type of patient like the patient of Roland. So ito yung mga dermatomes, no? Uh, 28 dermatomes all in all uh, on the right and on the left. So ito yung, this is nice to know. So dito kayo mag-check ng pinprick at ng light touch. Okay. For the case of Roland, yan, L4, L5 to S2. So the patient is complaining of pain on the posterior thigh and leg and up to the uh, foot. So dapat nag-check siya ng pain prick and light touch dito sa areas na to. So from the medial and lateral aspect of the lower leg, the heel and the middle of the back of the leg, and the back of the thigh. So, ito yung part na yun. Yan. Okay. So, ito yung uh, pitfalls of using the Asia score. So, Asia scoring system uses only 10 muscle groups uh, innervated by the cervical and the lumbosacral spinal cord. The Asia system does not include the abdominal muscle supplied by the thoracic segment because they are not feasible to delineate one from another and because these levels can be better marked by sensory levels. It also excludes muscles like hamstrings because the segmental levels that innervate them are already represented by other muscles. However, it must be understood that every muscle receives innervation from two or more segments. Therefore, the examination does not determine the absolute level of injury but only a gross one. So this is the reason why uh, in testing myotomes, there are only sp uh, specific key muscles that we check. Hindi lahat-lahat. <clears throat> For example, yung 
sinasabi nga ni Dr. Atek. L2, combination siya ng ano, maraming muscles. So, meron siyang hip flexion, hip abduction, and so on and so forth. But in this uh, Asia scoring, we only check grossly. So, the prime muscles that we check in L2 is hip, flex, hip flexion only. Kasi maraming, marami tayong iti-check na muscles kung lahat. Kasi nga, uh, muscles receive innervations from two or more segments. So, yun. Yun yung reason why. Okay. So, ito yung ano, myotomes, no? Sa arm and hand. So, C5, elbow flexor, C6, wrist extensors, and so on and so forth. Finally, if the anal sphincter, the anal sphincter is innervated by S4, S5 cord and represents the end of the spinal cord. So if the person has any voluntary anal contraction, regardless of any other findings, that person is by definition a motor incomplete injury. So basat merong sensation yung S4, S5, we can definitely say that the patient is only suffering from an incomplete spinal cord injury. So, Roland, you just include this on your uh, physical examination or assessment do sa patient mo para mas maliwanag. Okay? If you have uh, other questions, you just text me and I will reply to you gladly. Thank you for listening, guys. Bye!